NASA estimates that there are already millions of pieces of space junk orbiting the Earth, moving at speeds that reach 18,000 miles per hour, almost seven times faster than a bullet. In director Joe Sung he's exciting sci-fi epic space sweepers, scavenging that dangerous debris has become an ongoing mission, often employing those financially desperate enough to risk their lives. One such debris retrieval crew is played by Song Jong Ki, Kim Tae Iri, and Jin Sun Kyu, with Yu Hai in voicing the ship's card playing, wisecracking robot. Seemingly jaded, reckless and often engaging in petty squabbles, the crew trawls outer space searching for debris that will earn them a subsistence living. Life on Earth is hardly an attractive option. By 2092, the Earth is almost uninhabitable. The growing danger of space debris has long intrigued the film's director Joe Sung-hee. The thing that interested me the most was the speed, said Joe. Because these discarded objects are moving faster than bullets, they destroy anything they come in contact with. Debris drifting through space was a fascinating topic for me. From research I learned that various animated films and games have already dealt with this subject matter. I was particularly influenced by the 1995 sci-fi film Memories that featured a crew salvaging space debris. So I started working on the script for a story reinterpreted for Korean audiences. Joe began working on the film 10 years ago, but during that time he also wrote and directed two other films, A Werewolf Boy, starring Song and Park Bo Young, and The Phantom Detective, starring Lee Je Hoon and Kim Sung Kian. Joe won a Best Director Award for A Werewolf Boy at the 49th Beksang Arts Awards. I was working on other projects while fine-tuning the ideas in my head, said Joe. During that period, Korean films began addressing diverse themes, and the computer graphics technology evolved so much that a film of this nature was conceivable. I was able to keep the project going because I became more and more convinced of its potential as time passed. It was the second time that Joe worked with Song. Starring in A Werewolf Boy helped the actor become a box office star. Joe thought Song would be perfect as the space sweeper's character Tia Iho, a scavenger with a tortured conscience. Song Jong Ki has all the characteristics that Tia Iho should have, said Joe. I wanted the Tia Iho character to be at times hot blooded and at times cold minded. Song Jong Ki was in agreement with this representation of Tia Iho. And honestly, it would be more correct to say that Song Jong Ki chose this film than that I chose him. He recognized the film's potential and wanted to be a part of it. That was a big source of encouragement for me. Space Sweepers has drawn attention for being the first Korean film in space, but it's certainly not the first Korean sci-fi film. Many sci-fi films are made in Korea that earn praise from audiences and critics, said Joe.